Ryan Payne with me here in New York. Uh, he's the market watcher of this 11 o'clock hour. Do you see big gains for the stock market through the rest of this year? Um, I feel like a broken record here, Stu. Um, I've been calling for this big rally. It's happening. You have. And I think what you're seeing here right now is, I mean, the Fed pretty much said it yesterday. Uh, Jay Powell's open uh, to a lot of different scenarios here, basically saying that he's willing to pivot. And that's all we've been wanting to hear right now. Is the Fed going to be really tough with their monetary policy? Are they going to loosen it up? Looks like they're going to loosen it up because inflation's coming down, which is very, very bullish for markets for the rest of the year. You think this is a Fed-based rally that we're seeing right now? I think it's partially a Fed-based rally, but it's also just like the acknowledgement here that the economy is not in bad shape. You know, if we have inflation coming down like the Fed intended to do, wages are staying strong right now, um, and, you know, profits have been reasonable this quarter. It just speaks to an economy that's not falling off a cliff, which I've been saying against the, the tides, Stu, uh, but that's basically what you're starting to see now. You always have to remind us that you were <laughs> indeed saying there's a rally coming, there's a rally coming, there's a rally coming, and you were right. You, you, you did say yeah. that. I have a huge ego. What can I tell you? You do? <laughs> Join the club, son. <laughs> you, you, you That's why we get along, Stu. Yeah. You can't be on TV unless you've got a modest. <laughs> and you've got to be a narcissist as well. Ain't that right, Professor? <laughs> Wrong. <Okay. laughs> what, what, here's one for you. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Munger. I think he's 98 years old. He's Warren Buffett's right-hand guy. He, he's calling for a ban on crypto. A ban on it. Just get rid of it. What do you say to that? I think it's correct. You know, if you think about crypto, all it is are really uh, they're casino chips dressed up like financial assets at the end of the day. Um, you know, it's just purely gambling. It's unregulated. And I think, you know, Jamie Dimon said it best. They're like pet rocks. They do nothing. And I think, you know, this big rally you're seeing in that right now just speaks to there's still speculative money out there yeah. that's at play. So I... It's a I would, I'd be for it. I'd be get, yeah, get rid of it. It's like meme stocks, the gambling chips almost. There's no inherent value that I can see. It's just a gambling chip. What does the professor uh, think I'm about gonna, this? I'm gonna, he's all pain, all gain. <laughs> but I'm actually going to disagree <laughs> with him on this. China has taken the first step to ban crypto. Why? Because the government doesn't want any competition to fiat currency. Governments that want control are most afraid of crypto. Yes, it's gambling. I totally agree. But I don't want to ban all gambling. And I want to see where this goes. If you ban it, all you're doing is handing all the power back to the Fed and the federal government. Is that where you want power to lay? Brian, it's a fair point. And I agree with you there. But I think either way, whether we ban it or it's just going to gamble its way to zero. One way or the other, yeah. it's probably going away, but I'm with you on that. I like the capitalist. I'd rather view. see it gamble its way to yeah. zero than the government step in and say, we don't want any competition to the money that we control. All right. I yeah. want to be like China. Let people burn themselves. There yeah. you go. There you go. Fair. I think Charlie Munger actually called Bitcoin rat poison, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I think that was the exact <laughs> expression. Exactly it. Yeah. It's a strong opinions for a 98 year old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Okay. Uh, I want to get to the, what I'm going to call the stock of the day, the month, and probably the year, and that would be Meta. Okay, I have a couple of thoughts on that. First of all, 2 billion users is insane. There's only 8 billion people on the planet, so they, they have a huge market. But I, what I think they're doing really well right now is Reels. That's their competition with TikTok, with these short-form videos. They're catching up, and I think that is going to be their driver. That's going to be, right now it's not profitable, but by next year they're going to be breaking even on it.